Let's bring in Geraldo Rivera, Fox News correspondent at large. Geraldo, good morning to you. Hi, Ainsley. Hi. So the president tweeted out this. He says the Democrats are allowing a ridiculous asylum system and major loopholes to remain as a mainstay of our immigration system. Mexico is likewise doing nothing. A very bad combination for our country. Homeland Security is being so very nice, but not for long. What do you think about that? Cutting funding from those countries? Well, first of all, I'm just back from the worst timed vacation in broadcast history. I wish I was here last week to gloat with you all about the, uh, the collusion illusion. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an emergency at the border. I, I think that the Democrats would adopt that word if, uh, if the president had not said it first. Uh, the people under this underpass have now, we are told, uh, been taken by the federal uh, authorities to a more humane holding area. But there is no doubt, uh, Jay Johnson is right, there is this crisis at the border. The question is what you do about it. Uh, you know, it's easy to be compassionate and it's easy to be outraged at these uh, at these scenes. Uh, but the question is, what is the solution? The president now has said uh, uh, he's going to take the draconian uh, step of uh, closing the, the border, the entire border, including the uh, the, uh, the the ports of entry. Yeah. Uh, that would be enormously disruptive on both sides of the border. Uh, businesses will suffer millions and millions of dollars in lost revenue. I, I think it will be even more chaos than we have now in terms of cutting off all aid to the affected countries in Central America. See, uh, you know, I've said on this program before that I, I think the key to the border lies in the home countries of these desperate sure. people, desperately poor people. We have to improve the conditions in their country so they don't make this dangerous trek sure. and flood over our borders, disrupting uh, everything and upsetting everyone. Well, uh, here right. is Jay, in fact, here is Jay Johnson uh, over the weekend uh, just saying something that a lot of Democrats Democrats are going to have a tough time running away from. Listen. By anyone's definition, by any measure, right now we have a crisis at our southern border. Uh, according to the commissioner of CBP, there were 4,000 apprehensions in one day alone this past week, and we're on pace for 100,000 apprehensions on our southern border this month. That is by far a greater number than anything I saw on my watch in my three years as Secretary of Homeland Security. Well, he's absolutely right. It is, uh, it is desperate and getting worse. For some reason, the population of Central America is emptying out. People are rushing desperately through the nation of Mexico. And therein lies the president's prime frustration. Why isn't Mexico doing anything to right. stop people who are transiting across Mexico? It's one thing to say, OK, come on, here's a bus. We'll get you to the U.S. border. But there must be some responsibility in the new government in the Republic of Mexico where they have to stop this trespassing on their own national territory. I think there needs to be a summit right now between the president of the United States, the president of the Republic of Mexico, and of the uh, the affected Central American nations you have cited, uh, Guatemala, mm, El Salvador, idea. Honduras. They've got to get them in the same room and say, listen, you have a responsibility to your own citizens. This is not the answer to your problems. You can't send all of your problems to us. Mexico must do something to stop this transiting. I understand his frustration. I just urge prudence when it comes to uh, these, uh, these harshest blows like closing the border will affect so many innocent people, so many legitimate uh, legal people that uh, I don't think it's worth it. Well, I think I think you're right. I, I think this is he's talking tough just to get him to the table. That would be great. Let's see what happens there. Meanwhile, Geraldo on Friday, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was talking about the threat of climate change, and she made a comparison to the worst terror attack in the United States. We're going to play that and then get your analysis. Watch this. Okay. On the events of September 11, 2001, thousands of Americans died in one of the, in the largest uh, terrorist attack on U.S. soil. And our national response, whether we agree with it or not, our national response was to go to war in one, then eventually two countries. 3,000 Americans died in Puerto Rico in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. Where is our response? What is your response, Geraldo? Because you have a connection to Puerto Rico and, of course, 9-11 as well. My father was one of 17 children. I have a 
huge family still in Puerto Rico. I know uh, you know that I, for you, I covered Hurricane Maria mm -hmm. uh, over the extent of that horrible tragedy. Uh, it was awful. It, uh, you know, it, the island has largely recovered. I urge tourists to go there to frequent Puerto Rico. They need the business. Uh, and I think that, uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me speak specifically about the Congresswoman. I'm filled with admiration and respect for her. I love her exuberance, her youthful exuberance. I love that she talks truth to power. But I covered 9-11. 9-11 changed all of our lives for the worse. Uh, it sent me off to war. We, we lost so many thousands of our GIs, so many tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives were affected in a very negative way. Uh, people with these diseases and so forth from 9-11. You cannot compare an act of nature, uh, however exuberant your rhetoric, to uh, an intentional mass murder of the American people. Maybe compare it to Pearl Harbor. That's what it's like. But to put Hurricane Maria, which was a fiasco, uh, not so much of the federal aid, but of the corrupt, criminally corrupt local utility that allowed those power poles to rot and hired the worst people, did not clear the trees. Seventy percent of the power was out before Hurricane Maria even hit because of Hurricane Irma the month before. And so for the Congresswoman, I urge, we love that she's a great role model. She is a, my home girl from the Bronx. Uh, three of my grandchildren live in her district. I, I cannot say enough about how fresh the breeze she has brought. But in this case, her exuberance has gone a step too far. It is insulting to the victims. Of, of this terrible mass murder that happened downtown Manhattan uh, and in uh, Washington and the field in Pennsylvania and uh, and for shame Let, let's let's control the rhetoric you're much more effective when your facts match your eloquence all right Geraldo Rivera thanks for joining us okay you're welcome thank you